I'm angry. Ma Terry, why are you so stupid? Don't you know you putting that free spot on YouTube? Billions of people are going to go head into that free spot. Why, why, why did you do that? Calm down, calm down. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the video that I'm talking about is best free camping spot in San Diego. Please like and share. You will love this place. All right, and I think I have a video coming up tomorrow that tells exactly where it's at and uh, why I'm not so upset about it. Now, should I be telling people where these secret locations are? No. Why? Because we're in Southern California. There's a ton of sanctuary places. And I'll tell you why at the end, why I don't worry about uh, the government shutting it down. So let's talk about how many places there are. We're talking San Diego, you know, and people can't imagine how huge the state of California is. It is amazingly huge. I have never gotten past San Francisco, and that's an eight-hour drive to me. Um, oh, this state is amazing. But, like, San Diego has at least 100 beach towns. L.A. County, the same, another 100 towns. Orange County, the same 100 towns to explore, and the Inland Empire, at least 100 towns. I'm not even talking about mountain communities. I'm not talking about all the free BLM land we have out here. We have Anza Borrega, if you want to go. We got national parks, national forests to camp at, especially in LA. We have the Salton Sea. California is vast, and uh, in Monday's video, what my tip is, is stay a week, stay a week or two. You know what? If you're living on $1,000 a month, it's so easy to go in and out of these beach towns. And yeah, I get a, a little bored after a while. So, uh, and I, I, I probably hit every beach town up and down the coast. Uh, stealth camping at apartment complexes. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, it, it's so simple to do. So I'm not worried about overcrowding. Uh, not at all. Plus, uh, you know, we have a uh, casino camping. We have a ton of casinos out here in Southern California. And like I said, uh, like uh, Morongo, if you're in an RV, they'll let you, they have a parking lot for RVs. It's free, not a problem. Um, and they just have a little shuttle that'll take you to the casino. Uh, Fantasy Springs, Spotlight 29 over in that area of Indio, same thing. They, uh, I haven't been there in a year. But, uh, yeah, camping there. Uh, so many casinos can we camp at. It's amazing. And me, I stealth camp at a lot of casinos. I like hopping, hop, hop, hopping. But one of the ways, you know, me telling people where these little uh, sanctuary t uh, places are uh, isn't the problem. See, uh, the problem is, is when people, uh, and this happened in LA and they get rid of these sanctuary, uh, places for us to park overnight. Uh, they'll dump their tanks or they'll sit outside on lawn furniture. They're, they try to homestead, you know, you cannot homestead the city street. That's what causes the problem. Now, let me see if I can explain my way of thinking. And also I've talked to probably, uh, 50, uh, people in authority, whether it's police or uh, park rangers or whatever, here's their thinking. Like in Long Beach, they're trying, they have like a half a million homeless people. I mean, it's a huge population. And these are people living on the streets, not us. And you may consider, we may consider ourselves houseless, but to the rest of the world, uh, living on a thousand a month, they consider us homeless. And uh, so that's the category that they put us in. Uh, yeah, definitely. But so like the city council is thinking, well, we need to provide housing for the homeless. How many ho homeless do we have? We have a half a million. How much does the housing cost per person? They're looking at $750,000 per person for like a little apartment for everyone to live in. And it's like our solution is so much better as long as we follow the rules. And my solution uh, to the homeless crisis is leave us alone and we will respect your rules. You know, I go into town, uh, people that uh, camp with me all the time know I'm a shopper or I love going to a restaurant. I like exploring mom and pops and everything. I live on uh, more than a thousand a month, which it's a good place to be in. But yeah, if you uh, have a thousand a month and you can afford your car insurance, gas, food, uh, medical, if you have it, um, I don't know how medical works. I I'm sorry, I I'm bad. There are so many different ways of medical. I have VA medical. 
Um, but a thousand a month, you can hop and explore all these wonderful towns that California has. It's, um, it's amazing, uh, Southern California, this place, this time of the year. Um, and I'm just as happy as going out to Palm Springs, stealth camping out there. Oh my gosh, all the art, the galleries and everything. It can be done. Uh, that's why I was talking to the one guy. Um, he said he was doing well on about 750 a month, but he hops around too. You know, he has one spot. He'll stay here for a week and he'll move on to a different spot. And uh, that's what I'm trying to uh, impart on you. Uh, taking little mini vacations like this. I know uh, I'm going up to one little beach town and, uh, you know, I wish I could stealth camp there the, uh, overnight. I can't only because my friend is not set up as a stealth camper. That's it. Uh, we're going car shopping. We're going to go get Mr. Louis a vehicle. But, uh, you know, the alternative is on the weekends, uh, hotels, they can cost uh, $300 or more. And uh, that's not in the budget. That's why I do it. Um, I, uh, yeah. So I'm not trying to destroy anything for anybody. I'm trying to let you know that uh, the government is actually coming to its senses on us uh, traveling in our vehicles. Uh, we did this in the 70s. You know what? It's a great idea. You know, I have my home with me everywhere I go. Um, but I do like uh, going to restaurants. All right, that's all I wanted to say. I said my piece. Please don't panic. I'm not giving anything up. And uh, like I said, I mean, you have to be foolish if you're going to homestead there and stay for like six, seven months, people are going to get tired of seeing your vehicle. They're, they will call the cops. You don't want to abuse this. All right, everybody, happy traveling, happy camping, and I will see you down the road. Bye.